So when someone asks me why they should come to the market or, or what we have at the market, um, I pretty much tell them that it's one of the most unique places to get Christmas gifts um, if there's someone who's going to be shopping for the holidays. Uh, it's tons of handmade stuff, tons of, of gifts that are basically not available anywhere else. Um, that you're not going to find them at a big box store or anything. Um, it's also somewhere where um, someone who's not into shopping can go and hang out and find things to do while maybe a friend of theirs or their partner is shopping. We've got food vendors, we've got alcohol vendors, we've got entertainment, <laughs> we've got, uh, you know, we have a circus, you know, where are you going to see somebody swallow a sword, you know, while your, your friend's out shopping. Our vendors come from pretty far. So we had vendors coming down from New York, coming down um, up from Virginia. So we're getting a real pool of vendors from, you know, outside of our state, not just in it. So I've been vending for t over 20 years, um, or a part of the vending world. So I've seen a lot of shows. I've seen shows that are awful. Um, I've seen vendors get taken advantage of and so when we put this show on I always wanted to put vendors first with the idea that like if I put my vendors first the show will be successful because whatever I do to make them successful will make the show successful. We were really excited the Cumberland Valley Visitors Bureau reached out to us and um, wanted to let us know there was grant money available for being able to promote our show doing marketing. Um, and so we went for it, which is how this video is being made. Um, they invested in us. Um, also, other people downtown love the share that we're having this, you know, we're having this event and they get behind it. And I always feel like all of the people who come to vend at our show, it costs money to vend at the show. So they're investing in us as well. They're putting their trust in us. So there seems to be like a lot of camaraderie and just a communal effort to make the show successful. One of the most positive feedback that we get from people is they'll say, we love this show. It's the only show my whole family can go to, my teenagers, um, even my partner, if their partner's not so into going to a traditional craft show, I guess. They're like, this is a whole family show. Everyone has a good time. We put it on our calendar. There's no fighting. We just have a great time. And I think that's a unique aspect of our show as well, as we have something for everyone of all ages. Our friends who have a um, a child that might be like two, she's a toddler, but the whole day she was telling her parents, we're going to the circus, you know, we're going to the circus. Each year we've grown by about five to 800 uh, attendees. This past year, I think we topped 3,500. Um, and we even heard from a, a neighbor who, they uh, have an Airbnb, they said somebody stayed there that night um, because they were just going to the market. So that's what brought, the, I guess when they have a questionnaire asking them what brought them to Carlisle, they said the market of curiosities. So well, that was kind of our goal as well, it was, was to get people to come downtown to not only go to our show, but to stay and to, you know, maybe stay overnight in town, go out for dinner, just see what the town has to offer. Because, you know, if you just drive through Carlisle, you might not see everything, but if you come downtown and you stay and you spend some time, you start to see things that, that you wouldn't see if you're just driving through. And, and we love our town and we want to kind of show it off.